Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on factoring integers. So there's going to be two pages of notes in this video. The first page I want you to follow along with me. And then the second page you're going to have a chance to try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so again this is a video about factoring integers. So just what exactly are factors? And I actually wrote down um, a couple key terms over here. So factors are numbers we can multiply together um, to get another number. So let's say, for example, say if we multiply 5 and 3. Well, those are factors because 5 and 3 multiplied together will give us 15. Another example could be uh, 10 and 5 multiplied together will give us 50. All right, so both 10 and 5 are factors. So a factor set are any two numbers that are multiplied together to get the original number. So 5 and 3 would be considered a factor set, and then 10 and 5 would be considered a factor set. So let's say if I have the number um, 8, and I want to list the factor sets. So I could say uh, 1 and 8, so 1 times 8, that's one factor set, as well as 2 times 4, that's another factor set. Now prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. So let's say, for example, if we have, say, the number 15, okay? Well, if I break apart 15 to 5 times 3, well, both 5 and 3 are, are prime factors. So 5 times 3 gives us 15, so 5 times 3 would be the prime factorization of the number 15. And we're going to do more with, with that over here. So let's do a couple problems together. So the first question says, list the factors of the number 45. So I know that 1 times 45 will give us 45. And I know uh, 45 is divisible by 3. So I know that 3 times 15 will also give us 45. And I know 5 can go into 45 9 times. And 5 times 9. Um, so 5 and 9 are also factors of, of 45. And that is it for that one. Now, it says find the prime factorization of the number 200. So the way you find the prime factorization is you, you want to break it down to the prime factors. So for example, 200, we could break that down to 2 times 100. And we know 2 is prime, so I like to circle it because that means that part is done. But 100 is not prime. So 100 we could write as 10 times 10. And both 10 and 10 are composite numbers, so we got to break it down even more. So 10 could be written as 5 and 2. Now 5 is prime and so is 2. So this 10 also could be a 5 and a 2. So here's a key part. If I multiply every number that's circled, 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2, guess what number we're going to get? You betcha, the number 200. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 times 5 is 100. And 100 times 2 is 200. So I like to rewrite this as instead of saying 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the third power. And instead of saying 5 times 5, we'll just say 5 squared. So that's the prime factorization. All right, last but not least, um, we're going to find the greatest common factor of the numbers 66 and 90. And the way you do this is you first you find the prime factorization of both numbers. So I'm going to write 66 over here and 90 over here. So I know 66 is going to be, let's see, what goes in the 66? Uh, 3 does. So 3 times 22. 3 is prime. Uh, 22 is not, right? So I can break that down to 2 and an 11. All right, there's nothing else, nothing else to break apart. So 3 times 2 times 11, that is our prime factorization for 66. Now let's do the same for 90. 90 can be 9 times 10, and 10 can be 5 and 2, those are both prime and prime, and 9 is 3 and 3, and that's prime and prime. So now we have both prime factorizations for both 66 and 90. So we're going to use this now to figure out the greatest common factor. So what you do is you take all the factors that they have in common. So I'm going to use a different color here because I can. 
So for example, they have one three here and one three over here, right? So I'm gonna cross those off, a three and a three. I'm gonna rewrite it right here. Uh, we also have a two here and a two over here, right? So that's another common factor. Now here we have 11, but there's no 11s over here. Um, this one we have a three, but there's no other three over here for the 66. And we have a five on this side, but there's no fives over here. So the only common factors we have are one three and one two. And what you do is you multiply those together and three times two will give us six. And six is the greatest common factor. All right, so again, here are the steps. You first find the prime factorization of each number, right? Then you look at all the circle numbers which are prime and for every common pair, you write it down and then you multiply the common pairs together and that gives you the GCF. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with these practice problems. So the first question says list all the positive factors of the number 60. So I'm going to list all the factor sets. So uh, I know that 1 times 60 will give us 60. So I know that 1 is a factor and so is 60. I know, uh, well, 60 is even, so I know 2 goes in, right? So 2 times 30, so both 2 and 30 are factors. I know that 3 goes in the 60 20 times, so 3 times 20. So 3 and 20 are factors. I know that 4 goes in the 60 15 times. Uh, I know 5 goes in the 60 12 times. And I know 6 goes in the 60 10 times. And I believe that's it. So all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 positive factors of the number 60. All right, the next one you had to find the prime factorization of the number 88. So let's break this down. So 88 we can write as 8 times 11. And 11 is prime, so I'm going to circle that. And 8 is 4 times 2. And 2 is prime. And then 4 is 2 and 2. And that's prime and prime. So if I multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 11, that will give us 88. So I can rewrite that as 2 to the third power times 11. All right, last but not least, we have to find the greatest common factor of 280 and 420. So I'm going to spread this out pretty good. So we have 280 on this side and 420 on this side. So 280 is going to be 28 times 10. And then 10 is 5 and 2. And both of those are prime. 28, we can say, is 7 and 4. And 4 is 2 and 2. So the prime factorization of 280 is 7 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 2. Now 420, I could break down to 42 and 10. And 10 is 5 and 2, and both of those are prime. And 42 is 7 times 6, and 7 is prime. And then 6 is 3 and 2, and 3 and 2 are both prime. All right, now here's the tricky part. So what we've got to do now, we have to look at the prime factorizations and pull out the common uh, factors. So let's see, there's a 7 here and there's one 7 over here. So they have there's a common factor of 7. That's one number. There's a 2 here and there's a 1, 2 over here. That's another common factor. We have a 2 and another 2. So that's another common factor. We have a 5 and a 5 over here. So that's another common factor. We have another 2, and there's no more 2s over here. So that 2 is not a common factor with this one. And then we have a 3, and there's no 3 factors on this side. So if I multiply 7 times 2 times 2 times 5, that will give us our greatest common factor. And when I do that, we get the number 140 which is the GCF.
and there it is. All right, how'd you do?